Hello and welcome to another tutorial for Make a Flash game. This tutorial is going to be a follow on from the last tutorial, so if you haven't done it, go back and do that one. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to animate a movie clip in Flash. So let's get started. Um, open your Flash game file. Uh, go to the library and click on the character we had before and drag him on stage. Make sure you're dragging him onto the second layer. Now double click the character. This is where we can edit the character's appearance. In order to make the animation, I'm first going to delete the current character. And then I'm going to draw a new character with each, each body part um, on a separate layer. So let's start with the head. There we go. And then another layer for the neck, uh, the back of the spine. And then another layer for uh, another two layers for the for two arms. <coughs> when you draw the arms, make sure you've got two uh, lines for each arm, like so. And then two more layers for the legs. Make sure you get two lines for each leg, just like the arms. Awesome. Okay, now we're going to position. Um, we're going to position the legs and arms so it looks like he's running. Um, go to your tools palette and select the sub selection tool, or press A, and then let's move the legs first. So, click on the layer you want to edit, and then. Um, click these little dots and then just drag them to move them. So we're going to want the character to look, to look like he's near the end of his run cycle. So let's drag like this. So about there. That's where you want it. And then we also do the same with the arms. And then um, we might also want to animate the uh, the the back. So drag it there, and then the same with the head. Awesome. Okay. So now we want to create a keyframe yeah, frame twenty four. Um, you can either click the first frame and then shift click the last one or just click the uh, or just click and drag um, down and then right click and insert keyframe so now we've got a keyframe along there um, we sh we're going to start off by going up halfway through the keyframes and then doing the opposite position of what the character is at the moment so let's insert keyframe for all of them, and then just switch, uh, get the sub selection tool, and then just switch um, his position around. So, this is going to be his running. Oh, it's a bit hard to move. Um, if you're having difficulty moving, just zoom in um, by about 200. And then about there and then the other leg back it doesn't have to be perfect um, say about there and then the same with this one okay you guys first um, we're gonna have to go through and change the position of the arms as well since we moved the back. Okay, so that's all switched around. Let's just quickly change the position of the arms. 
Yeah, and the same for the last keyframe. Alrighty, so there we go. Now he's sort of running. We also might do, want to change the position of the back so that it's about there and the head's followed along with it. Awesome, okay. Um, now that we've done that, we can... Um, you can refine it a bit more, but I think this is as far as we need to go for the tuto tutorial. But in order to start animating it, um, we'll, we'll start on the legs, and you go, you right click and click create shape tween, and then as you as you can see, the legs will shift around. Um, let's do this for all of them before we fix um, how it's animating. So there we go, and then the same for the arms. And for the um, back and the head, because they don't change shape, we don't actually need a shape tween, and we can just motion tween them. But we'll do that after we've done these two. Okay. So to start off with, click one of the legs and hide everything else by uh, clicking and dragging below this eye. And what we need to do is press Control shift h which will create these um, little things called shape hints um, and then once you've got got two of them um, drag a to the top and b to the bottom of the shape um, you can also go to um, where is it you can also go to shape and then add shape hint if you can't use the hotkey. Um, okay, so once we've done that, we can go to the next point, the next keyframe, and then drag to the A and B to the same position um, at the top and the top and the bottom. And as you can see, it's fixed that animation. So we do the same again. So make two new um, shape hints and drag them to where they should be, and then do the same for the the final um, keyframe and there we go now we got the leg moving so let's do that for all of them um, awesome okay so now that we got all the shape hints uh, all the um, shape tweens in the right spot we can now move on to the motion tweens all right so now that we're done with the shape twinning let's start on the motion tweening um, let's work on the back first and Let's start by uh, by clearing all the keyframes, except for the first one for the back, and then right click on the frames and click create motion tween. Cool. Now the you can see that the the frames are all blue, and our spine has been changed into a movie clip. All right. So let's start by right clicking insert keyframe all, and then going over to the tools palette and selecting the free transform tool or pre by pressing Q and then let's zoom in a bit oops okay so we want to line up um, the back with the arms so let's move that across there and that's it and then we want to also realign it with the arms here So that's looking good. Now we do the same with the head. So remove, clear the keyframes, um, change it, uh, create motion tween, and then just line it up. Awesome, finished. Okay. Um, so that's all the animation done. If we Control Enter to test. Nope, oh, one second. Let's first uh, double click and go back into scene one by itself up the top and delete our character. Save it and then Control Enter again. 
cool. So now we've got our character animated, and he's running. Looks like he's running across the screen. Um, so this tutorial showed you how to animate um, a movie clip with Flash. Um, in the next tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to import and access a library. If you found this tutorial useful or enjoyed it, um, please like and subscribe. Also, if you have any questions, just leave a comment. And yeah.